<laughs> Sorry, oh, Donald's just the happiest chef you'll ever meet in your life. Uh, he's in the kitchen for us now. Hello, happiness, Hi. how are you? Hi, good morning. Meeples, meeples on the menu. We are doing a beautiful midweek dinner, easy to do, proper stodge. We want comfort food around this time of year. I've nearly burnt my meatballs, but Don't we're, we're, we're going to stay with it. It's all Don't good. Don't do that. So, Health really safety. simple. You could make this at home now. I, I have full faith that everyone can try this. So the great thing is it uses some cheap, very inexpensive uh, sausage. So we're going to break them down, take the skins off. You can actually buy sausage meat in the supermarkets now. Oh, but okay. if you can't, take the skins off and form them into little meatballs. Something good for the kids today. Very handy, yeah. except my, I have a three-year-old and the three-year-old, once he gets anything on his hands that's mucky, he literally puts it everywhere. So I, I've Lovely. kind of stopped bringing him into the kitchen. I have a 20-year-old who does that, don't you? <laughs> <I? laughs> still, still. <laughs> I, I'm kind of at risk of it myself. Anyway, once you've got them into meatball forms, now you can get flavoured ones, you can flavour them up yourself. Uh, fennel seeds from the store cupboard or your pantry, if you've got fennel seeds, pop them into the mix and roll them up. Delicious. Gorgeous. Pop them into your pan, get them fried off, leave them set aside, or or char them up like I have here. Um, if you are there at that stage, you're going to fry up some onion, uh, yeah. soften it down. The trick with frying slowly. your onion, slowly, yes. low, and take your time with it. Yeah. In fact, before you do the meat, you know what jealous. she's what? doing. Hey. Oh, God, one week on this morning. <laughs> Don't like to brag. <laughs> you make a good meatball, do you? Not bad. OK, well, now you're I'm under in. pressure. You're OK, not bad. I'm she's feeling it. I am. She's so with your onion, low and slow, plenty of butter, a bit of garlic towards the end, really gorgeous oh, things wow. are happening, mm. okay? Really tasty. Mm. Now, to this, we're going to sort of make a, a roux, basically. Mm. Good? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, really. yeah. Mm. Uh, up there with your own meatballs, Kat? You know what? <laughs> I would say better. Uh, really? Yes, I know when to give in. Okay, I'll take it. I'll in. take it. I'll take it. Really? Um, yeah. You're yeah. going to melt down, with your onions, another knob or two of butter, and we're basically going to make a roux that's going to mm. thicken our gorgeous sauce. It's proper stodge, though, isn't it? Like, it's comfort food and it's rich and hearty. Yes, but I love the fact you're getting greens in there as yeah, well, because yeah, yeah. that's what you need to do. Yeah, you're this trying to it. hide them, mind you. They're hidden in they there. Are. They are. I mean, and that's yeah. the thing. The greens we're using, I'm using just regular kale, kale. here, but spinach will melt down into this sauce. So yeah. if you wanted to use that, by all means, do. Mm. Once you have your butter in, you're going to add in your flour. You're going to get that to sort of cook out. Thick it should thin. smell like um, cooked pastry. It's a roux. You do want to take it a minute or two after you've added the flour and let that cook out, because otherwise you can end up raw with bitter flour. And raw. So Not a roux nice is basically the start of a sauce, a posh name for the start of a sauce. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, so once that's fried off and once it's mix mixing through, we're going to cut it with a little bit of our white wine. Mm. If you want, you can leave this out. Um, my kids uh, don't notice any time I add a little bit of white wine in there, so it's grand. Um, but it will cook off, the alcohol will cook off, mm -hmm. and it'll add a depth of flavour that's quite nice. Sometimes I'll add uh, apple cider vinegar in place of it, just for okay. that sharpness and that sweetness that you'll get from it. Yeah. Yeah. And another store covered ingredient that's quite handy to have. Once that's cooked out for a minute or two, we're moving along as we go, um, you're going to go in, you can use chicken stock, veg stock, whatever right. stock you have, uh, even a stock cube, and then top it up with a little bit of water and you'll be grand. Lovely. Bring that to a nice um, steady simmer. And when, when it's up at that point, you're going to add your meatballs straight into the mix and let them get uh, flavour friends. They're all going to come and meddle and muddle and make good things happen. Once they go in there, a good dollop of mustard. Some Dijon mustard is beautiful here. Mm. English mustard will do the job. Um, but essentially that's the sort of baseline flavour. You're also going to add a little bit of cream mm. here. Now you could use cream, you could use sour cream, you could even use a little bit of yoghurt. It's basically whatever you have, but it cuts through the sauce and it just makes them really creamy, unctuous and gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And that's what I get a bit excited about when, I, when I'm cooking in If the you kitchen. use yoghurt, you don't have cream in the house. Yoghurt's a little bit healthier, I guess. Can you tell the difference? When you, uh, you can. I mean, it's, it's a sharper flavour and sharper taste, and but yeah. look, uh, just add a little bit less. Um, you'll sure. still get good, creamy, gorgeous results and it'll yeah. be really nice. Steamed greens, um, great tip for you. If you have a big pile of kale like this, mm -hmm. wash it, stick it in a bowl, a tablespoon or so of water, plate on the top into the microwave, four minutes. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. It's done. Done. Sorted. Really easy and straight into the pan. He's pile. not a cook, he's a magician, <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Quick and easy is all. Oh, I tell you, I've got a three and a five year old, and like when we were res the recipes for the book that I've just uh, released, the recipes all had to be quick and easy because my life is just constantly feeding these children who are never full. They yeah. always want more. <laughs> I don't yeah. know what is wrong with them. They're bottomless yeah. pits. <laughs> snacks. It's all about blood. It's snacks. Sorry. Yeah. You say that with such love. I, I know. The love is just to be found. <laughs> <laughs> I'll find it. Um, but anyway, once you've added your, your steamed greens, mix them through. You've got that gorgeous sauce. And you're going to serve that up with some mash. It's a really, really That's comforting one. Yummy. Isn't it good? Yes. Velvety mash. Now, my trick to a well, good yeah, velvet go on, mash. Go on, go on. A little bit of sour cream in there, but also 
butter and an egg yolk. An egg oh, yolk, rich, creamy, wow. gorgeous. Makes an a lovely egg. little mash. Uh, oh. It's quite it's controversial, though. Controversial. I know it is, but it does add that, the colour and the richness, and it's absolutely gorgeous. So, look, you could serve this with pasta, you could serve it with a whole host of different things. But for me, just with a little bit of mash on the side, a little bit of Parmesan cheese oh. yeah, yeah, sprinkled yeah, yeah, over yeah, the top, yeah, yeah. and then a final little season of black pepper. And so, Phil Vickery did his mash masterclass last week. OK. Mm -hmm. It was pretty good. You should have a mash-off. A mash-off? I'm yeah. totally... Well, Phil, call me. We'll, do, you know we'll what, go off. do you know what Paddy's got at home? A ricer. He puts his mashed yes. potato through rice. Yeah. A ricer. OK, I like that. Because he's yeah, he super, gadgets, super so smooth. Yeah. Likes a gadget, likes, likes a mashed a potato. Yeah. Do you know the great thing about having this kind of food at 12 o'clock is you get a great run at the day when you get dinner in early. <laughs> <laughs> You're, you've opened your stomach yeah, for us. Great run of the day. Um, this is really delicious. Thank it's you, guys. Enjoy. Absolutely yeah. delicious. Yeah. Nice. Thank you so great much. to see you. Del Del very nice to see you, too. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, mm. If you're in the mood for nope. meatballs, and you should be, you can find today's recipe and more delicious ideas from all our chefs on our free This Morning app. Mm.